here with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We're located about 30 minutes north of Denver off I-25. Uh, today I am bringing you another trailer. This one was a custom order, so we're going to go over a few things on it. And we built this out for the customer's needs, and it's a possibility to do that for you as well. But we'll get started. It's a 2021 Cimarron Lone Star stock combo. Um, so these customers are going to be using it multi-use, so they have bulls that they're going to be hauling, and then horses as well. Um, but up here in the front, you've got your drop down. It's a 53 inch drop. We did that to accommodate for those bigger trucks, the taller trucks, you know, as they're aging, for some reason, that back end seems to be getting higher and higher. Um, so that's going to give you some more clearance between your truck bed and the top of the trailer. So more if you're going through some rougher terrain or if you're going over a lot of big divots and stuff, it's going to let you be able to maneuver through. But down below, we've got our spare tire and then our uh, manual jack, manual crank jack. And then this trailer exterior color is black. And then over here, we've got an escape door on the hip side. So these customers, they wanted an escape door on the hip side, tack door on the driver's side. So you'll see on the other side, there is a tack, tack room on this. Um, but just your escape door goes into that first uh, stall area. You've got a LED light up above it. Plexiglass slats and this plexiglass does come out. So all you gotta do right here, you can see this little cutout. You just pull, get underneath it and you just pull it straight out. Um, highly recommend if you are to take your plexiglass out, take that one row out, tape them together and right on there where you took them out. That way they fit back in there perfectly for you. Down below, we've got two 7,000 pound Dexter torsion axles. And then those, those are the upgraded tires. Those are bigger ply tire. And then you also have your um, little green tab. That means the tires are nitrogen filled. That nitrogen is just gonna help that tire run cooler and it's gonna help with the not as, not as fluctuation in the, not as much fluctuation in the PSI. Um, so I know if it's really cold here at night and it gets warm during the day, my truck is always flashing because my PSI is getting low because it's cold and then as it warms up, it gets higher. Um, so that's gonna help with that as well. So coming around here onto the back. So we're gonna go on the inside first and then as we come out, we'll show you the outside. But up in here, um, we do have our center gate and we kind of did a build out on this gate. And what I mean by that is that build right here, um, just for more safety, uh, when they're moving bowls around, you'll be able to, you know, get out of the way if you need to. And then that just locks in. You got two eight foot boxes. So if you wanted to haul just two singular horses in box stalls, you could do that as well. Um, just a lot of, of um, flexibility and maneuverability with these trailers. So up in here, you'll see the two OptiBright LED lights. And those are controlled here from the outside. Cimarron's gonna be an all aluminum trailer. You're getting one of the strongest upright posts on the market, one of the strongest flooring on the market. And then you also have a half inch thick insulated honeycomb fiberglass roof. Um, that roof's got an R3 thermal value on it. So it's gonna be more heat regulating, cooler in the summer, warmer in the winter. And then it's also dent and hail resistant up to about a golf ball size hail. I know being around here in these parts, last couple years we've had hail storms every year. Um, so it definitely comes in handy when it comes to, you know, getting that hail. So right here, you'll see our brake lights, turning arrows, and then we actually added backup lights to this trailer. Um, that way, when you're backing up, you've got some light behind you where you're able to see. And I'm gonna shut this gate because this gate's actually got a slam latch on it. So get the bulls in there and you can slam it behind. So that slam latch is right here. And all you gotta do is pull it forward and the gate comes back out. So this gate, this gate's got the single slider as well, so if you're hauling cattle and you're backing up to a, a load chute, um, you can just open that slider for the cattle. Um, and then right here are going to be all your light switches for your interior and exterior lights. So there's four of them here. 
and then coming around here to the head side of the trailer. You see, we've got a couple ties on the outside. Um, just your plexiglass going down again. Very bright LED light above the tack room. And those come in handy when you're tacking, untacking in the dark. You're actually able to see what you're doing instead of using your phone flashlight trying to get everything figured out. But up here in the tack room, you've got your tack door with the window, airflow going through. Get, um, you know, if it's stinky in there, you can get that out. And then you also have the uh, um, door organizer sitting right here so you can be able to put all your stuff, your uh, grooming tools and everything in there. So up here in the tack room, straight across, you see the saddle racks with the blanket bars. And those are adjustable and removable and everything else. So if you wanted three on there instead and just have an extra hanging out in the barn, you can do that. You can move them around however you'd like. And then over here, up in the gooseneck. So we opted to not do any windows in this trailer. They didn't want them up in that gooseneck area. So this one does not have them. Um, storage space for you, extra room, and then this little, um, that's a plexiglass holder. So if you do take your plexiglass out, you have a place for it to go. You're not having to just lay it up in the gooseneck. It's going to be kept all in one. And, you know, when you do need it or you want to put one slat in instead of all of them, you can do that. It's just very, very convenient. So then down below here, we've got your full length boot box. So that's just extra storage for you. And then it doubles as a bench as well as a step to get up into the gooseneck area. Over on the partition wall, we've got bridle hooks that are carpeted below. Um, that carpet's gonna be nice. It's not gonna let your bridles from swaying back and forth, causing rubs on this aluminum and then rubs on your bridles as well. And then up above the door here, you do have an OptiBright LED light. So you're able to see while you're in the tack room. And then these customers, they opted to do the floor mats in here instead of having the carpet. So you got the floor mats on the floor. And those are removable. So if you spill something, you can take them out, you can clean it out, just really nice to have. So the door on the tack room is a 42 inch wide door. Um, a little bit bigger, easier to get up and in there with your, especially Western saddles, since they are so much bigger, they're easier to actually get up and in there with them and have them with you. And then we also, also added this step. Um, that's just going to make it easier to get up and in there as well, because you're not having to come up to the side rail. You've got probably a good six inches lower to get up and in there. So this trailer is going to be sitting seven, six wide. We are sitting 7'1 tall, 21 feet on the floor, and then we have an empty weight of 4,740 pounds. So, and then I don't know if you guys noticed when we were first looking at this trailer how much wider the nose is. They opted to do the bigger nose instead of the tapered one, um, just to give them more storage space up above, and they like the look of it, so that's what we did for them. But this is a 2021. Cimarron Lone Star Stock Combo. That is stock number 5N210071. If this is a trailer you'd be looking for this exact setup or something, we can always get you one ordered as well. Um, I don't know if you guys go to our website, you'll see that we've got a lot of trailers with just the drawing schematics on them. Those are all trailers that we've got on order and coming in. So if any of those interest you, give us a call and let us know. Uh, we can figure out when the ETA is and all of that. But you can call or text me at my cell phone. That's 970-218-5996. You can call my desk phone at 303-684-3451. Or you can shoot me an email at morgan, M-O-R-G-A-N, dot noll, K-N-O-L-L, -L, at transwest.com. I look forward to hearing from you and look forward to doing business and I hope you have a great day.